ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2016 National Double Dutch League Holiday Classic. Ready ropes, good luck, begin. Who needs luck when you've got these skills? These kids are tearing up the Apollo stage as the Double Dutch Championship jumps for its 25th year right here in Harlem. These jumpers are no joke. They're acrobatic, fancy, and fierce. Some of the top teams in the world competing for the fastest team in the world, as well as the best fusion freestyle team, the best of show in the world. We have old teams that are trying to compete and keep their legacy, and we have new teams that are coming in and trying to break records. Turning the rope and jumping to the beat, teams from around the world, like Japan, who turned jumping with two ropes into a national passion. In 1992, we invite some US, top US team to come to Japan to show what Double Dutch is. And we learn Double Dutch from them. We have so many coaches in Japan. So we grow up and we can teach how to jump to the kids. Who knew the game many grew up in Harlem playing on sidewalks in the summer would turn to this. The National Double Dutch League president says her father had an idea and the vision. My father, David Walker, was a New York City Police Department sergeant who developed the sport of Double Dutch as a community affairs officer in Harlem. At that present time in 1972, there weren't too many youth activities for young ladies. There were like baseball, basketball, football for boys. He was a police officer walking down the street in Harlem, saw some girls jumping rope, and thought it would be a great urban activity to start into a competitive sport. The speed is mind-blowing. Every time the left foot hits the ground, that's a point. This judge kneels to keep count. Competitive jumping is not just for girls. Boys are into it too. Who says young people don't get enough exercise? Make no mistake, this is a workout. Think one is tough? How about two? Then things take a dramatic turn with Double Dutch brought to a whole new level. But in the end, one team could not be beat. Well, this is oh. not our first win. Okay, we're, so we're, are we are we are used to winning. We are used to winning. <laughs> winning is what we do. Although like, I look at it, but I teach my kids a win and a loss is still room for improvement. It feels good to win again and participate because it's exciting to do double dutch. It's more than just a rope. For Brooklyn's jazzy jumpers coming straight out of Brownsville, this is more than just the rope. Coach Tony Veal remembers all the life lessons her double dutch coach gave her. Now she is passing it on to her team. It's sort of like paying it forward. My coach changed my life at 12. She picked me up and she was like, no, I see something in you. You can flip, you can turn. I'm going to take you and I'm going to mold you, I'm going to shape you. And she took that and she instilled it in me. body of all communities in the world supporting my father's legacy, his vision, and supporting our sport. We're a nonprofit organization. Um, we want to keep going, but Double Dutch is not forgotten. We're still here.